Hey collectors, here is a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Card Edition. And thank you to Jay Guzman for helping me acquire Destro. The retro card line of G.I. Joe Classified mirrors how the action figures were released by Hasbro way back in the 1980s when they are still 3 and 3 fourth inches. Now in the classified line, not only we get 6 inch figures, but they are being sold in a box. But for me, I still like the way these figures are in the card back because one thing, they are easily can be opened and storage isn't that much because you only have to take away the plastic that secures the figure. To complete the retro look for this figure, we get also a command file for the character plus the other characters to be released by Hasbro in this retro card line for the classified series. And this feature is not available in the box figures which is being sold for the G.I. Joe classified line. To preserve the card when you are taking out the figure, be sure to cut along the sides of the clamshell so that you won't damage the artwork. And pulling out the plastic tray, we get Destro and his accessories plus an action figure stand and this sheet of paper from Hasbro. There are subtle changes with the paint application to mirror what you see in the cartoons like this time Destro has eyebrows with his silver mask and this is how the 1980s figure for the G.I. Joe looks like plain and sometimes lacking in paint details out of the clamshell Destro stands above 6 inches tall and he is superposable and he could also stand on its own. Like all other classified figures, Destro is superposable. And again, word of caution, before you go on and posing this figure, I suggest you hit them up to loosen up the joints to avoid breakage. Here is the backside of Dextro and the retro card version no longer have the circular mark which is on his helmet like what you can see in the first issue. You could also store the gun in his holster and both of his gripping hands can hold the other blaster plus his carrying case with a cobra emblem. And since this line has an action figure stand, you can put them in some action poses and leave them for some time and not be afraid of them falling down. But still, be careful because a little nudge will make this figure tumble down on your display. There is going to be a stiff competition between Hasbro and Super 7 when Super 7 starts to release their G.I. Joe line because it's much tune accurate. And for size comparison, here he is with the Justice League Superman from Mafex and Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story by Bandai Model Kit. With Snoopy from the Great Pumpkin Toy Line by Playing Mantis, the SH Figure Arts Kid Krillin from Dragon Ball, and Batman from Batman the Animated Series Expression Pack. With the 7 inch figures from McFarland Toys, Batman Blue and Gray variant from The Hush Toy Line, and Azrael from Nightfall. With Skeletor from Masters of the Universe, and Jaga from Thundercats, both by Super 7. And to wrap things up, here he is with Ground Chuck from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series and Leonardo from the TMNT movie 
both by NECA. And with that, thank you all for watching. See you all again next video.